Once upon a time, in USA, a gaming clan was formed by three players, but nobody ever imagined that one day they would become the renowned esports and entertainment organization known only as FaZe Clan. But how did FaZe Clan become such a famous esports and entertainment organization? Why did it become an esports and entertainment organization? Did FaZe say that Tifu claims against them are all false? Does the clan currently have 60 members? Is Tifu a top switch streamer? YouTuber and competitive Fortnite player. And most importantly of all, what was their life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more. Since this is a S M R Aaron, back at it again with another day. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this read helps you get you through your day. Or even better, I hope this video helps you gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of the Faze Clan. The organization was founded on May 30th, 2010, as a gaming clan by players known as Eric Clips Housecat, now known as Timid, and Ben Resistance. The organization competes in several popular video games, including Call of Duty, Counter Strike, Global Offensive, and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, FIFA, and Fortnite Battle Royale. In 2020, the organization expanded into the Asian market, acquiring a PUBG Mobile and FIFA online roster. FaZe Clan first came onto the scene with the acquisition of the roster of G2 Sports. The team's first tournament under FaZe would be DreamHack Open LeapZig 2016, where they would start in a Group A up against Gabriel Fallen, Toledo's Luminosity Gaming, in a best of one. Their first match of the tournament would go well for the Europeans, with a 16-9 victory on Inferno, with Havard Rain Nygaard top-fragging, with an HLTV rating of 2.0. The next match for the team would be against Danilo Zeus, Teslensko's Natus Vincere, who were the favorites of Group A. This matchup would not go as well for FaZe, as the team would be completely shut out by enemy Auper Ladislav Guardian Kovacs finishing 9 and 16 on train. After losing their previous match, the deciding factor between moving on and going home would lie within a rematch with the Brazilians of Luminosity Gaming, this time in a best of three. The first map would go poorly for FaZe, bombing out on train with a 7 and 16 scoreline. The next map would go even worse for the Europeans on cash. They would end the map early against Luminosity, finishing 5 to 16. This would mark a 5th, 6th group stage finish and an earning of $3,000, as the team was no match against opposing Marcelo Coldzera David's stellar performance. On February 9, 2016, FaZe Clan added Robert Robin Dahlstrom as the coach. He was widely regarded as one of the best players in Counter-Strike, primarily known for his long successful runs in Ninjas in Pajamas and SK Gaming. With more experience on FaZe's side, the first tournament they would attend would be the Intel Extreme Masters Season X World Championship in Katowice, which gave the team a month of preparation. The first match of the Group B round Robin for FaZe would be against Bulgarian side eFrag.net, an esports club with Nikolai Punisher Ponin standing in for Simeon Dreamer Genev. FaZe would easily take down the Bulgarians, taking Cash 16-5 in a best of one. 
The next match of the group for FaZe would be against rising Brazilian star Heinrich Hen1 Telez team Tempo Storm on Dust 2, which proved to be quite a struggle for FaZe. The match would eventually be tied up despite FaZe having a five round deficit of by the end of the first half, leading into overtime. Norwegian duo Joachim J. Kame, Myrostab, and Havard Rain Nyagard salvaged the win for FaZe, ending the match with a score of 19 to 16. The next matchup would mark the third match of the day for FaZe and also marks the point where the team started to slip up. This time, FaZe would be going against Nathan NBK Schmidt's team, Envious which was in a slump at the time. Despite this, FaZe would be taken down by the opposing French side on train 12-16, which would be their first loss in the group. The next match would be against the former teammates of FaZe's Philip AZ Astrup, now taking the name Astralis. FaZe would continue their losing spree here, being easily taken down on Inferno by Nikolai Device, Reeds, and crew at a 5-16 scoreline. The final matchup of the group would decide whether FaZe Clan or Janus Snacks, Pogorzelski's Virtus.pro, who, like Team Envious, were also considered to be in a slump at the time, would progress to the playoffs. The final match of Group B would prove to be a close game, with the first half of Mirage ending 8-7. However, FaZe continued to slip up and would lose the match 13-16, marking yet another group stage exit for the team. Going into the first major of 2016, MLG Major Championship, Columbus 2016, FaZe would play their first match of Group B against Spencer Hiko Martin's Team Liquid. The only map of the matchup would be played on cash, with FaZe starting on the CT side. The matchup would not start well, ending the first half with a 3-12 scoreline. Though, they would later win eight more rounds, they eventually fell into the lower bracket, being defeated with an 11-16 score. In the lower bracket, the Europeans would be going up against Arya Heckmat's Splice. The match went well for FaZe as they managed to win 16-3 on Inferno, with Philip AZ Airstrip top fragging with an HLTV rating 2.0 of 1.65. In the loser final, FaZe would be against Jesper, JW Wexel's Fnatic. The first map was Mirage, and Fnatic took the first half ending 10-5. The second half was close but Fnatic managed to win the first map, 16-10. On the next map, Cobblestone, Fnatic was still dominant and won the first half 10-5. FaZe never got a chance to come back and lost the second map, 16-6, and they were out of the tournament. After the major, Captain Mikhail Mikalele Bill announced that he will step down from the active roster. After Mikhail Mikalele Bill's announcement, FaZe started to search for a replacement. Three days before DreamHack Masters Malmo 2016, FaZe acquired French player Fabian Kiyashima, Phi, from Team Envious. At Malmo, they would start in Group D with Virtus.pro Tempo Storm and Team Envious. FaZe would play their first match against Jaroslaw, Pasha Biceps. FaZe lost their first match 16-8 on train and were heading to play the loser match against Fabian Kiyashima, Phi's former team, Team Envious, with Timothy Devil Demelon filling the opponent's final spot on the roster. The match was very close on cash, but FaZe managed to win the first half 9-6, but in the second half FaZe started to struggle and Team Envious managed to win the match 12-16, marking an earning of $2,000 as well as another group stage exit for the team. After Malmo, FaZe spent the next two months playing online leagues without much success. They finished 7th in ESL Pro League Season 3, Europe, and lost twice in the double elimination playoff stage of ECS Season 1 Europe, thus they missed out the LAN finals of both leagues. Later on, although FaZe managed to salvage the situation somewhat by cruising through ESL 1, Cologne 2016 offline qualifier with the perfect 3-0 record in the main event itself, they were put in the notorious group of death alongside three of the world's best teams. SK Gaming, Fnatic, and G2 Esports. As a result, despite scoring an upset win in the opener against Fnatic, FaZe subsequently had to make do with another group stage exit after convincing losses and winner game against SK Gaming and in the decider rematch against Fnatic. 
Their last event before the player break would be the last chance qualifier of E-League Season 1, but they didn't have much luck there either. To start off, FaZe barely made it past CLG after a grueling double overtime decider map. However, they again missed out on a playoff spot as Nico's Mouseports came back from a 6-14 deficit in the third map to steal victory of the second match away. FaZe decided to switch up their lineup one more time as Finnish Opera Alu joined the team in place of Fox. Unfortunately, this change couldn't provide them the needed boost to break the barriers. FaZe were sent packing early at both Star Ladder I-League Star Series Season 2 and DreamHack Open Bucharest 2016 after winning two openers but losing every other game. Their online resume didn't fare much better as losses at ESL1, New York 2016 Europe Qualifier, and Epicenter Moscow Europe Closed Qualifier denied them further offline appearances. Later in the year, they managed to qualify for E-League Season 2 and ESL Pro League Season 4, finals after finding success in the online portions. After Philip A.Z. Astrup's departure to North, FaZe continued to strengthen their team by buying out one of the biggest stars in CSGO, Nikola Niko Kovac from Mouse Sports. The implementation of the Bosnian star proved to be successful, as the new FaZe were able to reach the final of their debut at Intel Extreme Masters Season XI, World Championship, before falling short to Astralis. A month later, they traveled to Star Ladder I-League Star Series Season 3, besting SK Gaming and G2 Esports before securing a difficult series win against Astralis to lift their first trophy. After missing out on the ESL Pro League Season 5 Finals, Nico and company managed to extend their Grand Finals streak to four in a row after two Grand Finals appearances at IEM Sydney 2017 and ECS Season 3 Finals, both of which they lost to SK Gaming in the title decider despite having two championship points in the latter one. Their run of good form continued at ESL 1 Cologne 2017 with a top four finish as they were stopped by the Brazilians again. This period also marked the beginning of the year-long rivalry for the number one spot of Counter-Strike Global Offensive in 2017 between FaZe Clan and SK Gaming. Despite placing well at Intel Extreme Masters Season 11 World Championship to ESL 1, Cologne 2017, FaZe bombed out of 2017 second major PGL Major Krakow 2017 in 15th-16th place without winning a single game. Following the team's embarrassing elimination at the major, the team brought out the contract of Ladislav Guardian Kovacs from Natus Vincir to replace Alexi Alu Jolly as their new opera, while also replacing Fabian Kiyashima Fey with former world number one player Olaf Olofmeister Kashber. Gustafsson. After eight successful months, including a second place at the E-League Major, Boston 2018, Olafmeister Gustafsson announced that he was stepping down due to personal reasons. In his place, former NIP player Richard Zietz Landstrom joined as a substitute. The team started shaky in their second LAN event, losing to hometown heroes Renegades, but managed to surprise the community by defeating Astralis to win Intel Extreme Masters Season 13, Sydney, in a narrow best-of-five grand final, 19-17, 22-20, and 16-14. In a statement that FaZe shared on Twitter, they said that since their partnership with TFU began in April 2018, they have only collected $60,000 from him, and the most they've ever been entitled to is 20% of his earnings. They did reference the clause in their contract that says they are to receive 80% of brand deal earnings if they have connected the gamer to the company. However, they clarified that they have never collected on that clause from TFU or any other FaZe Clan member, and said that they have been trying to offer new contracts to TFU and his attorney. Tfue rose to fame in the esports community and has amassed quite a following on social media and gaming platforms. He currently has over 10.7 million YouTube subscribers, 6 million Twitch subscribers, 1.6 million followers on Twitter, and 5.6 million followers on Instagram. According to esportsearnings.com, Tfue is currently ranked number 17 in the country and number 165 in the world as a professional Fortnite player. FaZe Clan was created as a professional team of gamers back in 2010. The three original founders of FaZe go by the names Resistance, Housecat, and Clips. The team has expanded over the past nine years and now has an estimated 60 members. And so ends the tale of the famous esports and entertainment organization FaZe Clan, that continues to take part in various gaming tournaments across the world.